Most of these people obviously were not conditioned for, uh, for a crossing like that, for an entry like that. Uh, the brushland can be extremely dangerous to someone that's not conditioned for that sort of thing. We're exhuming uh, the remains of undocumented immigrants or, or possible undocumented immigrants. They've been found in circumstances that would lead us to believe that. They're in a, um, a state in which a visual identification couldn't be made. And so what we'll do is take the remains, they'll go to Texas State University and they're gonna do the processing. They have a, a fabulous facility there. There are three forensic anthropologists that are there as well. And so they're gonna help with the caseload. They'll do the processing when the, when the bones are um, cleaned, then they'll go to Baylor. What we'll do with that is then come up with a biological profile. So we'll determine age, sex, status, ancestry and so forth then with that we'll also take DNA samples and so DNA will be sent off to compare with families right now we have lots of families we don't have lots of remains to compare them to uh, that's being done and, and for any family that might be watching it's through the missing migrant project uh, they are working with families to get these cases entered they're the only ones that can enter in cases for people who are reporting missing cases across the border. Um, contact them if you're a family member and you need help. They're, they're the ones to do it. Well, I suppose it's good that, uh, that they're helping the, the families of uh, the dead here. That Perhaps uh, the families can um, finally learn what happened to the people that died here in Brooks County. Uh, trying to make an Ill illegal entry that they had no business attempting in the first place. The ordinary campesino out of Mexico, he has better, he's better conditioned for something like that. He can make it. A person from an urban area, no. They haven't got a chance. They get a little bit sick, they panic, uh, they get anxious, and uh, the environment just starts pulling on them and it kills them. Uh, people, the so-called guides, uh, coyotes as they're commonly known, are ruthless. They're just in it for the money and they don't care about you. If uh, you don't keep up with the group, that's too bad. They'll leave you to die. And that's been proven over and over again. Sad to say, it'll probably happen some more. We'll probably lose at least 100. In 2011, they had 64 deceased undocumented border crossers. In 2012, they had 129. This year, to date, we're over 100% more than what we had at this time last year. This should concern everybody. I mean, these numbers are a crisis. We have a crisis going on. It's a humanitarian crisis, and it may not be caused by individuals, and I know these folks took their lives in their own hand. I hope, and for anyone thinking of crossing, that they look at this and they think twice, because it is very dangerous and very hard. Anyone young, anyone not fit is gonna pass away, and those that are, may too.